I watched all 10 episodes. Thank it's you. Amazing. So good. Congratulations on this. Thank you so much. I appreciate you watching all the episodes. That's brilliant. You're so good. First of all, when this came to you, um, what was it that you just loved about this project and you just felt that you could play Danny Sullivan so brilliantly? Um, I guess I just was really excited by the challenge of bringing him to life. You know, understanding the responsibility of telling a story like this, hearing the message from Akiva, hearing what he wanted to try and achieve, and just feeling really aligned with him. I just really agreed that it was time to, you know, tell the story about mental health, mental health that is, you know, brought on by trauma, uh, try and educate some people into how crazy it, it can be and how your mind is so powerful and it can work in, it can work for good and it can work for bad. And it just really resonated with me. And Akiva felt like someone that I could trust immediately. And I just really, really was terrified by the idea of playing this character. And for me, that's a really good thing. So I said yes. What happened in that house? Where did they all go? I have these blank spots. So not only are you playing Danny, you're executive producer on The Crowded Room as well. So you just throw that into the mix. How emotionally taxing was this on you? Because I can just, you must have just been so emotionally drained mentally. Yeah, it was, it was a tough time for sure. You know, we were exploring certain emotions that I have definitely never experienced before. And then on top of that, being a producer, dealing with the day-to-day -day kind of problems that, you know, come with any film set, uh, just added that extra level of pressure. But I, you know, I really enjoyed it. I, lo I loved the learning curve of becoming a producer. I'm no stranger to hard work. I've always sort of lived by this idea that hard work is good work. Um, and I really enjoyed it. But then again, the show did break me. There did come a time where I was sort of was like, I need to have a break. I disappeared. I went to Mexico for a week and had some time on a beach and lay low. Uh, and I'm now taking a year off. And, you know, that is a result of how difficult this show was. Wow, so I can I, imagine. Yeah, I, I am excited to uh, to see how it turns out. And, and, you know, I feel like our hard work wasn't in vain. Can you see how all of this can seem like it was you? Wait, do you think that I'm the one pulling the strings? What if I said I do? I'm not! We've never seen you do anything like this. It's so different to what we're used to seeing you do. How do you think your fans are going to react to, to this? Just what a different show this is for you, a different Tom. I'm not too sure, to be honest. I, I hope that they enjoy it. I hope that, like me, they can get the same education I got into how impressive the human mind is and to how far we can go in order to survive. I hope the fans come along for the ride. I hope that they enjoy the roller coaster that we've laid out for them. There is a mystery with puzzle pieces. You can put it together yourself or you can just be along for the ride. So I'm just really excited to be a part of this community of people that are going to watch it. Um, and I'm, you know, I'm going to be very present online. I'm going to speak to fans and ask them what they think and, and see if they figured it out. So I'm feeling good. So how did you were you working with psychiatrists throughout the show because you had to go off and take a break but what was happening when you were filming was it 10 months you were playing him yeah it was, i think it was just over 10 months yeah, yeah we you know we had a psychologist on set who was someone who was there to you know help people should they need the help i had a wonderful team of friends um who i work with who are all you know some of my best friends that i've known i mean i've known ben since i was 13 so i've known him you know the majority of my life to be honest uh i had my brother with me akiva was a great ally a great resource a shoulder to lead cry on um so I, I was very well supported and and i felt really good about being vulnerable in a space that felt very safe it never struck you as strange that this man just showed up to save you just figured i was lucky have you ever been lucky no has playing Danny Sullivan changed you? Do you live your life differently now from this experience? I think I do. I feel very confident in my capabilities as an actor. I feel 
um like i can handle confrontation better i feel like i can you know deal with certain situations that i think before would have really set me off and now i just take it in my stride um i feel like i've grown up a lot perhaps more so in the 10 months of making this show than i have in my entire career it definitely feels like the beginning of the next chapter and and i feel really good and i'm really happy you said you're going to take a year off so yeah. what are you going to do in your year off what are your plans traveling what are you doing i've done a little bit of traveling i had an amazing time um i've been seeing my family i've been seeing my friends i've been playing golf you know i've been you know going to the garden center and buying plants and doing my best to keep them alive and and all that sort of stuff so i've just been trying to be you know regular bloke from Kingston and, and just relax. Well, we see you is slipping back into the Spider-Man suit anytime soon, but you need it. I don't think this. it'll be, I don't think it'll be soon, uh, but there is definitely a possibility. I went through so many emotions, feeling so many different emotions when I was watching the show. What are you hoping that the audience takes from this? I'm hoping that ultimately they're entertained. I'm hoping that they fall for the twists and turns of the show. But most importantly, I'm hoping that they they feel like they are somewhat educated in a topic that has this stigma that we do need to change. We do need to talk about the powers of mental health. Um, and hopefully this show can be a stepping stone in the right direction.